Hi, my name is Pamela Azvedo, Product Manager with CAE Healthcare. I'm excited to introduce you to the CAE Fidelis Maternal Fetal Simulator. This simulator was designed with leading obstetricians to meet the core training needs around normal delivery as well as obstetric emergencies. It's the first simulator in the CAE Fidelis line and it's designed around serviceability, reliability, and durability. Each one of the features on this simulator ties back to those core needs as well as the training needs established for this platform. Learners are able to play an active participant in understanding the roles of normal delivery. They can utilize the static services to understand when doing pelvic examinations, different effacement and dilatation. They can utilize the Leopold's fetus, which was specially designed to understand fetal palpation. Essentially, it's hard where it's supposed to be hard and soft where it's supposed to be soft. Learners have the ability to monitor and interact with the CTG, giving a baseline variability, accelerations, and decelerations. During normal delivery, they can actually palpate contractions as the baby labors down with the contractions. The CAE Fidelis birthing ring was designed and tested to withstand multiple births. It alone has been tested for over 120,000 rotations without failure on the motor. Each feature of this simulator is designed to enhance the learning objectives of our learners. Whether it's the rapid blinking and reactive eyes, voice that can be controlled through the software or by the instructor, pulses throughout, carotid, brachial, radial, popliteal, each one of those pulses you can adjust the strength based on the physiology. When you're looking at different obstetric emergencies like eclampsia, She's got a really nice redesigned convulsions feature where you're going to get trembling of the hands. You'll get rapid eye blanket, tightening of the jaw where it's constantly seizing back and forth. And because of her physiology, any resuscitation done to the mom is going to have a direct impact on the fetus. She's the only birthing simulator with integrated maternal fetal physiology that's been validated. And when you're looking at obstetric emergencies such as maternal cardiac arrest, this is crucial. We know that it's rare and it's scary when this happens. And this simulator was designed to give those practicing clinicians the opportunity to train on every aspect of cardiac arrest. Whether it be intubating or either nor nasally or orally, she's got a new designed airway that's 100% leak free, fully supports ET tubes, LMAs, and she's the only birthing simulator in the market that fully supports mechanical ventilation. When they're doing chest compressions, they can recognize it put her in a left lateral tilt, which will be detected for after action review. They're gonna get a nice two inch chest compression. And it's actually going to detect hand placement, rate, recoil, ventilation. And because of the physiology, it's going to give you the coronary and cerebral perfusion pressures. All of that's logged for after action review. She also supports live electrical therapy. So you can pace into defibrillator, She's got four lead ECG, and it also has dynamic 12 lead ECG in the system. When you're looking at things like breach delivery, this simulator was designed to meet those core training needs perfectly. The fetus that's utilized during active labor has no exposed metal, so during palpation, they can easily diagnose a breach delivery. It also supports delivering in multiple positions, sitting, squatting, all fours. Because of the birthing mechanism that's a quiet design and will continue to labor down, the instructor doesn't have to manipulate during a breach delivery. They can support the hands-off training need of breach delivery. You can also simulate utilizing instrumental delivery or rested labor with instrumental delivery. Vacuum extraction has a really nice realistic pull. As they're waiting for the contraction, the vacuum will fully go into the fetus's head and they'll be able to pull down with really realistic real resistance to that maneuver. Forceps are supported as well. When you look at another one that's really critical, like shoulder dystocia, and essentially the maternal fetal simulator was designed to improve the way that our clinicians train and manage for shoulder dystocia. Each aspect of the protocol for shoulder dystocia is made better on CAE Fidelis. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of the shoulder dystocia. A few things that you'll notice as we go through and do the different maneuvers, each one of these is logged and detected. We know that a critical thing when learners are training for shoulder dystocia management is understanding the time between when the head was delivered and when the body was delivered. And so with each maneuver being detected, it gives our instructors a great opportunity to, to brief with their learners. You'll notice as the baby labors down, 
it's going to get, you'll know, see the head clear the perineum and then it'll pull back in simulating the turtle sign. Once it does that, there's actually a bladder that sits up underneath the birth canal. And this is gonna lift the fetus, really wedging that shoulder behind the bone and really simulating a shoulder dystocia. It is the most realistic presentation of shoulder dystocia in any birthing simulator to date. The instructor, the leading obstetrician, can then go through and call out different maneuvers to practice. Once you start with McRoberts maneuver, you're gonna see a really nice observable pelvic tilt. When we go through and do super pubic pressure, she actually has a pubic symphysis bone. And so it's not just pushing down, but it's understanding where that landmark is and in what direction I need to bear down to release that shoulder. If those two maneuvers fail, they can practice doing internal maneuvers, internal rotation. And the way the birthing ring grips the fetus, it actually provides that traction against it. So the practitioner is able to really practice and get a feel for how much resistance is placed during those rotational maneuvers. Okay, we'll go ahead and demonstrate McRoberts. Is everything all right with my baby? Everything's okay. We're just going to try a few things here. As we're pushing down, this is detected in the software, and you really have to bear down quite a bit to get that observable pelvic tilt. Try super pubic pressure. Okay. The instructor has the ability through the MU software to detect which one of these maneuvers will actually release the shoulder. If we go through, we did McRoberts, we did super pubic pressure, they've tried internal rotations. They can actually go through and deliver the posterior arm as well. And the articulation of the fetus really allows them to scoop past that chauffeur and deliver the arm. When all else fails, they can also try a Zavinelli maneuver, where they're able to tuck the fetus's head down and push it back into the uterus in preparation for an emergency C-section. Once the baby's delivered, you're gonna see a virtual APGAR score, a one minute and a five minute APGAR score. And this is based off the arterial and venous blood gas values. This is crucial for debriefing with learners. It gives them the ability to understand how well did they manage that obstetric emergency. Essentially, how healthy was the baby at the time of delivery? No other platform delivers this to the learners. You also have a graph that comes up on the MUSE software with the fetal neck traction. So as they were laboring down and pulling on that neck, it's detecting that and putting it in a graph format, which can be utilized for debriefing as well. Thank you. You'll notice right away that the fetus size and weight is appropriate for a shoulder dystocia drill. It's also got the really nice articulation, which supports not only delivery of the posterior arm, but those internal rotational maneuvers. It's got an open airway for suctioning, both nasally and oral, simulating that. The fetus cries upon delivery based on how healthy it was at the time and based on the APGAR score. It's got a realistic umbilical cord, which supports clamping and cutting in multiple locations. You'll also notice a realistic placenta, which has got two sides and can be inspected for a fragmented placenta. Thank you, Jeff. One last thing on the fetus as well is you have palpable landmarks too, so they can identify for presentation. And I mentioned earlier to the no exposed metal supporting breech delivery. One of my favorite things about the CAA Fidelis simulator is it supports the training needs for postpartum hemorrhage as well. So utilizing the same scenario, you can keep all the physiology and move right to a postpartum hemorrhage. It's got the largest blood reservoir on the market with 1.8 liters being the only simulator that truly allows you to simulate all three stages of postpartum hemorrhage. What's nice about this platform is as the learner is doing uterine massage, this will be detected, you'll get a gush of blood, and it will actually slow down the flow rate based on how successful their uterine massage is. So they can assess for uterine atony, they can have a boggy uterus, and as they massage it, it becomes contracted. The instructor can set it to become boggy again over a 15 minute period. It supports bimanual compression as well and placing a uterine balloon. All of the aspects around postpartum hemorrhage, and we know that um, you can also support a partially or fully inverted uterus as well, where this can uh, go through. Through the software, you can provide a gush of air that prevents reverting the uterus and uh, moving the simulator to surgery as well. So again, whether it's practicing to understand the different stages of normal delivery, or it's practicing for an obstetric complication like 
postpartum hemorrhage, of course, maternal cardiac arrest, eclampsia, cord prolapse. Uh, we have a placenta insufficiency uh, patient profile in the MU software. Each one of these things are made better with Fidelis because she was designed to be the most reliable and repeatable birthing simulator and the only one that delivers every time. I hope that you enjoyed the short presentation of the CAE Fidelis Maternal Fetal Simulator. If you have any questions, please reach out to your CAE Healthcare representative, which can be found on our website, www.cahealthcare.com. Thank you very much.